Pleasant Hill up Mansfield High getting ready for the run and gun bass busters tournament uh, we've got a good boat draw number four got a good mix of smallmouth and largemouth in this lake not sure what we're going to target probably probably got your smallmouth early and later in the day maybe go target some largemouth getting ready to launch Fish number two, hopefully he's gonna measure. He might be short. Oh, hell yes. Yes, sir. Let's keep a number two, both on the Blue Rock Custom Tackle. Triple threat jig. He's been hooked before, his lips all deformed. Oh yeah. Number three for the day, another small mouth. Oh, he's, he's over. He's playing over, I'm not on it yet, that like it. He's well over. I wasn't on the board. Twelve and a quarter. <laughs> That's why we're a team. One of us is, and we've been we've been really fortunate because we've always got fish, and it's always it's either both of us or one of us. Yeah. When one of us is off, the other one's on. So That's a good thing. That's what you need. <laughs> Oh, there's small mouth. Yes. I don't think he's gonna. Man, he's got a big one. Oh. I don't think he's gonna keep either, Goss. He's gonna be about ten and a half inches. Ouch! Ouch! Gosh, darn, he's short. Nailed that one. Maybe ten and three quarter. A little bit short. Here's what I've been throwing. Blue Rock triple threat jig. I'm pairing it up with the TRD Z Man worm, both of them in green pumpkin. It's a 316 ounce head on the jig. If y'all aren't familiar with the triple threat, Jesse named this the triple threat because it is. It's good for all three species of black bass. The largemouth like it. Spotted bass like it, and the smallmouth bass can't keep it out of their mouth. So uh, that's where you got the name Triple Threat for. It. So it's a fish catching machine. And it works anywhere there's smallmouth and largemouth. Lake St. Clair, smallmouth love that bait right there. Make that touch the line. We're gonna call him out anyway. Yeah, yeah. Put him in there. 
He just caught a nice one. That's our six keeper of the day. Man, that is one fat fish, dude. What? That is one fat fish. 2.2. .2. Go way in, we ended up with a limit. I don't know, maybe six pounds. We got one about two and a quarter. Probably ain't gonna do much good with it, but it sounds like a pretty tough day out there for most of the guys. Talked to a couple guys that have limits, so we'll go weigh them in here shortly and see what happens. Get the weight bag out. Money, but no way. Huh? Not with that sack. Oh, we'll be out of it? Probably. We might luck out and get a picture yeah. with Jimmy. Yeah, we got a little. Oh, yeah, we, we got about one more. We got two. Really? We got about six and a half pounds, probably. Well, you pick him up there and let me kill him. I'm going to coat him up. Grab the, grab the stings. There you go. Fucking mean bastards, aren't they? Mean. Is he on my camera? You still got plenty of life, huh? Make sure there's not any more in there. Sixteen inches. Two point two on my scale. Two two seven. 26. Told you I had about what you had. <laughs> Got you by 600. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job, man. See you, John. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, boy. We're inching our way to the We're in that top five, baby. Yeah, you too, Jimmy. You too, buddy. Good job, man. All right, guys, we're headed home from a tough day on Pleasant Hill up at Mansfield, Ohio. Um, we ended up catching a limit for 6.26 pounds. Uh, good enough for fourth place. We edged out my buddy, Jesse from Blue Rock Tackle at, I think he had 6.2, we had 6.26, so we just squeezed, squeezed by him. But I wanna thank him big time because the first four keepers we caught was on his triple threat jig that he makes. Um, today I caught, I caught our first four keepers, three of them small mouth, one large mouth. We ended up calling two of those out because towards the end of the day, Keith caught, Keith caught fire on a chatter bait and uh, caught a nice two and a quarter pounder. I uh, caught a, a pound and a quarter and one right at one pound. So uh, we ended up calling two of my fish out, which is fine because it's all about teamwork. And today we, uh, we both played a hand in filling the live well. I think we caught eight or nine keepers total. I'd say so. I caught four and he caught four or five and then we each caught a couple shorts. But a great day on the water. It was tough. 
lot of pleasure boaters on Pleasant Hill. Man, what a for such a small lake. Yeah, Good that God. lake that lake's not real big, and and they let it's an open horsepower lake, and it's insane. It, it's really kind of scary. You got to be on your toes at all times. But anyway, the first half of the day we fished deep and uh, caught four keepers early, and then moved up to the shallow end of the lake and. Keith done his thing on the largemouth and uh, finished her up with a fourth place finish. So our next tournament's at Griggs. I've only been there once. Keith has never been there, so that should be interesting. Uh, we did have a good enough finish today. I think it put us in the top five in points for our club, and uh, which is a pretty big deal because we end up top five teams get a fish to battle the bass clubs at the end of the year that Rats Nest puts on and that's drive always a good time so anyway we've got a two-hour drive back to the house and uh we'll see y'all later hey guys we uh fished the tournament pleasant hill yesterday kind of a tough bite we ended up catching a total of i think eight keepers with uh 10 or 11 fish all together a couple short fish but but anyway we uh we started out the day fishing the deep end of the lake with uh i was throwing a uh Blue Rock Custom Tackle Triple Threat Jig. Um, it, it's, to me, it's smallmouth candy. Um, when this bait was in prototype stage, I was up at Jesse's house one day and, and I saw this bait laying on his bench and I was like, what's that? And he said, oh, it's just something I've been working on. He said, take it and try it out. So I took this thing to Salt Fork and first time on the water with it, I caught a three pound, six ounce smallmouth. Uh, for inland, inland lakes in Ohio, that's a pretty good smallmouth. But I, I caught a lot more than that that day. I caught several nice small mouth, several nice large mouth, and I was impressed right off the bat. But anyway, he uh, he put the, the bait in production, and it's uh, I'm telling you, if you just enjoy catching fish, it's a go-to bait, large mouth, small mouth, spotted bass, any of the three black bass species, they love this bait. And uh, I've caught four plus pounders out of Lake St. Clair on it. But anyway, back to yesterday's tournament, uh, threw a little video together. Well, we started out the day on the deep end of the lake. I caught a few small mouth and one large mouth uh, keeper. Keith couldn't get bit on that end of the lake. Um, about 11.30, we went up to the shallow end of the lake and uh, Keith caught fire, man. He was throwing a chatter bait and he just, it was lights out for him. He caught a two and a quarter pounder, one and a quarter pounder, a couple other small keepers, but it was good enough to call out a couple of the smaller keepers or keepers that I'd caught that morning. and. Ended up with 6.26 pounds and a fourth place finish. Tough day, only five out of 23 boats brought a, uh, bought it, brought a limit to the scales. So he's very fortunate to catch a limit. I want to apologize for some of the quality of my videos. Uh, I'm new at this. I had no intentions of starting a YouTube channel when I bought this GoPro. Um, I just bought it for my personal use and people was like, you know, I'd put a video on Facebook here and there. And people were like, man, you need to start a YouTube video. What the heck, man? Here I am. I put it on there. So anyway, uh, me and Keith, my, my partner's Keith Goss, um, we're having a great year, man. This is our first year fishing together. We just met last year, and uh, we just click, man. We, we make a great team. We, we've had some great, we, I don't I think we've won, we've won three or four tournaments together already this year. A um, couple second places, third places, fourth places. I mean, it seems like we're always right there. We, we pick each other up. When one of us is, is fishing good, and the other one isn't we, we you know we support each other we have a good time and it's all about teamwork and uh we make a great team man and i'm i'm proud to have him as my partner and uh hopefully it's there's more great things in our future but uh anyway i'm, I'm working at becoming a better videographer i'm going to try to invest in another camera so i can get a lot of keith's catches don't get on video because he's in the back of the boat a lot and uh i've only got one camera so i'm going to try to get another camera to catch more of keith's uh Keith's catch on video and just put together a better video for y'all to enjoy. And uh, I appreciate y'all supporting me. Like I said, better things to come in the future, I hope. And uh, just thanks again, man. We're having fun. I hope you guys learn a little something. If not, drop me some comments, some suggestions. I'm open for anything, man. And uh, like I said, I'm new at this. And like my buddy Jesse says, it's what all the cool kids are doing, so figured I'd throw my hat in the ring and try it out too, so enjoy.